Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. He he moves six of Subnautica, below zero. On the last Let's Play, we started the game and collected a whole bunch of resources and explored a little bit. So this story, unlike the previous one, is you trying to look for your dead sister or trying to find answers about your dead sister. Either way, there's a sister that. Um, particularly great things happened and you are working either for the company or something like that to try and figure out what's going on but currently the objective is find the tower the big tower thingy that is hard to miss but we can't see because it's nighttime and also supply cache nearby oh cool and it's at night and it's extra spooky Where's our resource? We got some resources. Ooh, another thing. Um, right, one. Uh, one. Hyena. Boy, sure do you love not being able to see. Friend or foe? Hmm. I do not want to go in there when I can't see anything. Because here's the thing. I can't see. And I don't think the um, other fishies can't see. But that being said... Oxygen. I'm trying to think of something to say. And now it's becoming daylight. Ish. We'll see how well the daylight goes. Eh, it's becoming easier to see. We can maybe get there. By the time we get there, it should be bright. It's my eyes. He keeps my eyes open. So he keeps his eyes open. Oh, no, it's so dark and spooky. Maybe because we're under ice? Yeah, we should probably, you know, have that whole oxygen. There we go. Now, going over the surface might also be advantageous. Sea monkey. I really do not like the... F Ooh. Air bubble. Well, let's go down there and see if there's anything particularly interesting. Oh, well, that is interesting. I was about to say, at least down here, nothing can get at me, but there is the existence of explosion fish. So... Boy, it was nice and bright until... stuff. Yeah, I should probably go get some oxygen. Oh, I see the... The fuck was that? Boy, it'd be really nice if I could see. I guess that's me telling myself, hey, batteries would be nice. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> Hey. There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. 
not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Yay, confidential agreements and all that stuff. Can you get that? Use beacons to mark traverse territory. Show or hide the signals of your choice with your Xenoworks PDA. Now with surface support. Hmm. Where's the inventory? Gonna keep moving around though. Uh. Okay. Just in case, there needs to be a thing here. Okay, that ice just broke. Well, at least now I can see. Hmm. Maybe it was one of those things in, like, a National Geographic where it's like, hey, this thing, um, there's these ice things that are just super cold water that absolutely wreck, uh, sea life. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, in case. Now we should probably check around there for anything particularly interesting. Oh, it's one of those things. Somehow we're able to survive that. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's have a better look at that place. In a sec. We have like two silvers. Nice. Now we can at least get a map. Ooh. That's a thing. Don't know what thing it is, but it's a thing. Vehicle Bay Fragment. Hey. I don't care if you're kind of cute. Oh, fantastic. Nice. What is that? discovered probably should do some yeet and well actually we still have some good oxygen yes yes I know you're quite adorable well I don't know what the 
new, uh, what's it called? Avatar movies are going to be a boot. Because the first one, as they put it, is like... Pocahontas? I suppose? Oh. Hmm. Fair enough, I guess. I don't know why they exactly say po- well... Hmm. I can see the parallels of it, which is, hey, these two people of different worlds uh, meet each other and fall in love and all that stuff. But in the, you know, movie Pocahontas, the Disney one, it's, hey, why can't we all get along? Which is, you know, very funny. And, well, not very funny, but it's very interesting since it's a boot. Um, you know... There, there's about to be people fighting in a Oxygen. war, which, you know, we all clearly know who, uh, it, it's like to prevent the war, but then it's like, yeah, we all know what happened. And, but the movie Avatar is the, hey, the, there actually is a war and the natives kick the, uh, colonist invaders off their planet. And then I, I'm assuming that the sequel will be a... What the hell is that? Is that just texture? I don't know. And the sequel is going to be... The alien invaders come back. How much water did we get? Jesus. Okay, we have copper wire in here, I think. Light stick. Ooh, so we need copper wire and a battery. Do you have batteries? Uh, ribbon plant and that thing, and let's get that copper wire. Probably should have used the health thing. Oh, there it is. Okay, we just need one more of those things. I just find it completely astounding how that movie Pocahontas is basically a movie about, hey, here are these two people from foreign worlds. How about we try and prevent war and everybody just get along? About, you know, colonization of America. It's just like... I know that Americans don't know much about American history, but you gotta know what happens, right? Anyways. The mineral detector can sniff out raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. I mean, that thing would be interesting to do, but we don't have any crystalline sulfur wool. I guess that thing. Oh, ingredients and then. Fair enough. 
Might want to get some of that. No, we do have the thing. We just need the batteries. Uh, right. Keep on forgetting which one needs the ding. I guess we could make uh, another uh, thingamajigger to store stuff. I'm a little bit of a hold of woe. But only a little bit. Hmm. Om nom 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 nom. Alright, the thing. Okay, number two. Limestone chunk. Oop. Silver ore. Goud. Galena. Copper. Okay, so just holding it does that. Ooh, fragments. So I just have to hold it on that, or is that a, hey, I'm going to get closer to it kind of thing? Well, let's see. Titanium, chrysanthemum, salt, and that. Okay. Yeah, let's go for... Fragments. If we could get a battery recharger, that would just be fantastic. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. The heck is that? Gravity trap. We're, not, we're gonna use that thing, but whatever. It also looks like a thing. Hey, Mr. Fragment Thingy. Oh, that's probably an egg. Yeah, it is egg. Is it down below or what? Ah, gracias. Quite useful. Titanium, I guess. Oh, well, there's a thing. I guess we should only we shouldn't hold it out, we should just periodically bring it out. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Still no signs of potential, potentially aggressive thingies. Yeah. And very bad visibility to look for thingies. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, no. Uh, next. Oh, you'll be previous, right? Yeah, there we go. Monkey. Monkey. 
It'd be nice if you can have it look for new stuff. I love not being able to see underwater in a place that I know has something dangerous in it. Or potentially dangerous in it. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. That looks new. I don't know, it's just very colorful from that one side. I don't know what the range on that thing is. NTC glider, we need... we have everything we need, really. Or it's easily retrievable. Very valuable fish, you can drink it or eat it. You can even turn it into lube. That sounds like a distress call. Yeah, it's about transmission to say SOS. Motion. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Yeah, can you give me uh no? Okay. Oxygen. I was about to say, hey, when do we get the um, reinforce and or executive uh, air thingy? Because while we might be able to get down there, because if memory serves from the previous version from, what, a couple of years ago, you would get down there by getting a... Uh... Oh, there's another sea glide. It was very short range. You get down there by using the air sacs. Oh, for a second there was like, okay, we're right next to this thing. Why aren't you picking it up? And that's because that was a bunch of mushrooms. Which, fair enough. Oxygen. Seems to have some pretty bad weather out there. Well, I guess they don't want you to miss the sea glide, which we, which I would want to create, but more of a. Oh, let's see. Okay, they're probably near full. Yeah, more or less. Oh, it's probably quite literally a. Uh, some seaweed not sure I saw something aggressively move in a field of view but I could not tell what it was might have been here before yeah pretty sure Oh, right. These things... No. Oh, 
Oh, we will need those things for backup batteries. Hi, Yina. Could maybe get some more batteries, because we're probably going to need a ton of batteries to make, like, super batteries or something. Like, two things I really want to get. One, solar panels. Two, battery charger. And then maybe big big battery charger when we need big batteries. But that's an entire thing in and of itself. Oxygen. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there's something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. Question. Uh, we need copper ore. We got plenty of that, though. How, how do you know that it sounded alien? Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, can we make that? Uh, let's see, we need lubricant and copper wire. We got copper wire and we got lube. We could make copper wire anyways. The sea glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Built in light and map you say? to get like I don't know a mobile mobile uh, nope laser transport truck or granite grinder or loader dope so I think we can just put these eggies down they'll be fine just out here in the water that's what eggs do They're water survivors. Yeah, let's open storage and maybe make another one of these. One, two, three, four. Yeah, for the next let's play, we should probably look for that thing that the game was telling us about. The th Every single time. Every single time. There we go. So let's see how visibility is. It's kind of shite. Well, I guess we'll just swim out and hope for the best. We have the batteries, right? Yeah, we have a battery. At least. Seems like the thing stopped, though. Actually. Nope, still foggy as hell. Did I jump? the end of the let's play so that's gonna be the end of this let's play i guess so anyways 
Please comment, guys, I like them comments. Tell me what you like, dislike, tips, woo, tricks. Otherwise, if you like my YouTube and would like to see it go, whoa, well, that's a thing. And please like, subscribe, and share the videos have grown. Please remember to spend your ammo to control the pit population. Not sure if that's ooh aggressive or not. Well, we'll just have to eventually see. And until next time, let's play me. Woo, six of Subnautica Below Zero. Oh, we're right here on that thing. Now, something somewhere. Ooh, could be that thing. So thanks and see ya.